Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. And today, we are checking out another brand new set of leaked armor. And all of my ranged compadres out there, I think you guys are gonna like this set because it's tailor-made for anyone that likes to fight from a distance. Whether you're a stealth player or an action player, you will get some use out of this set of gear. And of course, I'm talking about the Black Raven set. Now this is interesting because it's the first bundled set in the game that features both armor, a shield, and a bow. No main hand weapon, of course you can use the shield if you want to, but no main hand weapon. And again, it all ties back to the fact that this is designed for ranged players. And I think this is a really good addition to the game because there are a lot of us out there, myself included, that liked ranged combat over melee combat, and there aren't a lot of options when it comes to the gear sets that are readily available in the game. Now, of course, with any leaked set of gear, things are gonna change, and of course, big spoilers, so if you don't wanna know what the Black Raven set is, Turn away now, but before you do, don't forget to like and of course subscribe to the channel. Now, the armor set. Two-piece bonus here increases your range damage after hitting three shots without missing. This is gonna give you a nice 60 second buff, increasing your range damage by plus 20. That is a very generous buff considering how easy it is to hit three shots in a row. Even with the faster bows like a light bow, you can still accomplish this. Now the five piece bonus just further increases your headshot damage by 35, again tying directly back to range combat. And you may see headshot damage and think, okay, well I'm really not gonna use this because that only applies to assassinations. And that's not true. Headshot damage is wildly useful in close range when you're using a bow. It's a big part of how I got through the entire campaign so quickly because the bows just do a lot of damage. I was using the Hunnish bow and I was getting those headshots after taking down the weak points and that's a great way to take down some of the more elite enemies in the game. Now I also mentioned there is a bow in the mix here and that's Raven's Beak. And the weird thing is it's marked as a predator bow but coded in the game as a light bow. So I'm not entirely sure which way it's gonna go and there's a lot of reasons why it could go one way and there's a lot of reasons why it could go the other way. I think it's a predator bow that's just coded incorrectly, but we'll talk about that, I swear. Now let's look at the perk here. Increases your headshot damage on a headshot for 10 seconds, and that's gonna give you plus 15 to headshot. So the more headshots you hit, the more you can keep that buff up. If you're a good archer, you're probably gonna be able to keep that buff up 90 to 100% of the time in combat. If not, there'll be some small gaps, but obviously you wanna hit those headshots and keep that buff up as long as possible. I mentioned there's also a shield in the mix here and I apologize, I think it's called Veyer, but I'm not 100% sure. This is interesting, it increases your range damage when undetected, just gives you a flat plus 10 to range damage as long as you're in the shadows. And this is good, I think it ties into the Predator bow well, although I feel like they were just trying to come up with an item that somewhat worked. You're not really gonna see a lot of action with this in combat, considering that the Predator bows are really designed for kind of those sniper shot kills. But if you do alert the guards and you need to go into combat, now you have a shield. Unfortunately, as soon as you go into combat, the shield effect is negated, which makes this item kind of a throwaway once you're in the throes of combat, but you have to have a second item. It's the way they bundle things in the game. I totally get it. Now I mentioned the items may be coded wrong, specifically Raven's Beak, and I'll tell you why. I did not get to experience this as a predator bow. I got to experience it as a light bow, and honestly, that effect works really well when you're in close quarters. Of course, if you're using the shield, the effect doesn't matter because you're in the middle of combat in the middle of enemies and you're not going to get that plus 10 to range damage, but you can just hit so many more enemies so much more quickly because of the way that the light bows are designed. Now I understand that a lot of you like predator bows, especially those that like to take Assassin's Creed literally and play like an assassin. So I do think it's going to go that direction eventually, but because this is a leaked item, of course there's bound to be some issues, some bugs, and I think this may be one of them. So unfortunately we don't get to show you guys exactly how this looks as a predator bow, but we can showcase it as a light bow, which is very interesting. I actually enjoy it as a light bow. I think the light bows and the hunter bows are more versatile than the predator bows, but you can imagine how all of the items tie into a more sniper based build. And again, it gives us that flexibility to experiment with other item sets, create some synergies, giving players that like tackling the game from a ranged perspective another set of gear. Obviously, the only other one in the game is the Huntsman armor, which is fine, but as we all know, having options is really nice, especially when you start to talk about synergies. There's not a lot of opportunities for synergies with the Black Raven set, but for those players that want to experiment, you definitely have a new option in the mix that allows you to do just that. The Black Raven set as a bundle also comes with a new wolf mount and a new raven skin. I think both look pretty cool. If you like the dark theme, you're gonna get a black wolf out of the mix. And I think the black and gold on the raven just look incredible. 
You're also gonna get tattoos and of course boat cosmetics and I really like the boat cosmetics here. Again, black and gold, it's elegant, it's also sinister at the same time and I really think it just ties together incredibly nicely. It's a far stretch from the Raven Clan basic armor that we saw at the beginning of our experience and now we're getting to something a little bit more ornate. And I know not all of you guys like the more ornate fancy armor sets in the game. I personally don't have a problem with it. I do think it looks really cool. The Ubisoft art team always does a good job making gear look special. And although this is kind of a reskin of the Hidden One set, I do think there's enough uniqueness here that makes the Black Raven stand out. As always, friends, if you guys have any questions about the Black Raven set, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I love reading through the comments every single night. If you have questions, I try to answer them. And if you have complaints, well, I read those too. Of course, if you like our videos and you want more Assassin's Creed content in your feed, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and of course, subscribe. It's completely free for you and it really does help us out a ton. We're on the hunt for 100,000 subscribers, so we would really appreciate the support. My name is Kodiak and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.